All right, so a long time ago, there used to be a drive-in theater, the Motor View Drive-In Theater. They've long since been abandoned. Talia doesn't remember. I do. I do wonder, though, why has anybody ever been to a drive-in theater that is not next to railroad tracks? Just curious. Every single one I've ever been to has always had railroad tracks. So there is where you would pay to go in. And in the comments below, leave a comment if you've ever been to a drive-in theater. Most, most places will charge by the car. Other places will charge by the person. If they charge by the person, you always wind up stashing people in the trunk. Look at this. The old, abandoned drive-in theater. To be honest, there used to be a no trespassing sign that is since gone. And now there's somebody out there in their truck. And now they're leaving. We scared them off. All right. So right, right here are the railroad tracks, but the, the girls don't remember. Coral's here too, but I told her I wouldn't put her on camera. But what you used to do, girls, Talia, Coral's right there, is you would sit here in your car and you'd turn your radio on and then you'd watch the movie up on the screen. And there'd be a whole bunch of cars on these slopes right here. And you'd listen to the movie in your car and you'd watch it on the big screen. Is that weird? What do you think, Talia? Would you ever go to a drive-in theater? Maybe. Maybe. If your parents took you. If you were a teenager, this is the place to be. Let's go check out and see if we can get in the concession stand. Some of the drive-in theaters used to have little boxes next to the parking spots. Those little boxes had speakers in them that you would actually put hanging by your window so you can listen to the movie. Those were lame because they they didn't work very good. The uh, the radio ones, sometimes they were lame because of the uh, frequency. Employees only, here we go. Bummer. All right, so this is the snack bar. This is where you'd go to get your your popcorn and your soda pop. It's pretty cool that the uh, private property sign's taken down. So now I don't feel so bad coming in here. That one's locked. Bummer. Yeah. Let's see. Bet it's locked up there. Uh, can't get in. But there's this rock here that somebody put to like wedge the door. So somebody's gotten in there before. I wonder if you can get in up top. It's a flat roof, so hard to say. There's another drive-in theater just north of town. I have to go check them out. See how, how bad they are. Usually the, the brush and everything would be gone. This place would be a little bit more graded. And it's so cool. It's a massive, massive screen. All right, so there you have it. An abandoned drive-in movie theater. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumb up. Subscribe if you haven't already and share because sharing's caring. We'll see you later. Bye.